Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. I have a confession. I am a notorious insomniac. So it is just before 6 a.m. right now. I tried to go to sleep last night. I laid down to go to bed at midnight. <laughs> I gave up at 3 a.m. I just laid there tossing and turning, brain going a thousand miles a minute. Yeah, you're right. We're out here for the sunrise. We're here right at pre-dawn, as you can see. We're gonna fish for cats. This is one of my usual spots. We're on the canal. I just brought two rods and some cut bait down here. It's gonna be 83 degrees today. That's the high, but it is 62 right now. The grass coming out here is just all drowning in the morning dew like it rained. I mean, it's just soaking wet. So there is a bit of fog, like scattered fog on the water, kind of a mist. Definitely a little chilly out here. I've got my hoodie on and pants. I'm wearing pants. All the hooks this morning are six aughts. One is an octopus, such as this one here that we just baited up. And the other one is an octopus octopus style circle hook these are the same rigs from earlier this one has a three ounce no roll on it the other one has a four ounce might not need that here i'm just feeling lazy not going to switch them up unless i find i absolutely have to nice this spot here at the bulkhead is getting a little out of control already. It is spring, stuff grows crazy here. We're gonna have to do a little trim job. It's amazing just how much Rebecca is growing here. This is wild Rebecca right here. Same family as Black Eyed Susan's. So far I am digging this sky look at it what an awesome morning sky i'm glad i did not decide to miss an opportunity to fish this morning there's absolutely no wind out here really super calm on the right first bite he gave me a slack line then he picked it up it's not a big strong bite quite yet it's more like a line bite might be getting the same thing on the left here. We also have a barge coming through slow, which will increase our odds. I have seen some activity in front of us, a couple fish roll and some feeding. Not a lot of that yet. That barge did not produce anything. Check out the sunrise. It's getting better and better. When I finally gave up on sleeping at 3 a.m., I, I decided that I wanted to wait a little bit till I came out here to fish, at least get here around five something. So, you know, I drank coffee, I walked the dogs, that kind of stuff. I think it's cool to be here right at sunrise. Oh, here we go. Come on, just take it. He's really playing with it. I'm going to reel up the line because he's giving me slack. Still there, still swimming in on me, or... We got us a fish here. Oh! At first, I didn't think he was very big. Oh. Yeah, I think we might have a gar. We might, I don't know yet. It's kind of fighting like one. No, that's, what is that? I don't think it's a gar now. Huh, just kind of fighting like a little gar actually a catfish yeah you're right I was like I'm not ready for gar yet nice
Yeah, you're right. I think it's gonna be a good morning, guys. One thing I've noticed this morning is that my casting distance is a little further with the four ounce no roll than it was with the three ounce each time further. So let's see if we can improve our odds by making everything a four ounce no roll. Oh. Little tiny bites again. Where have I seen that before? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Both of them. Everything has slowed down severely. After that first fish, it's just nothing but a little bites from what I think is little fish. Just a thousand little bites. Too many to show. So now I have placed one bait in a different spot. I'm gonna place this in a different spot to but we're gonna do something different here. Along here are some PVC pipes that are pounded in, pretty stable. We've also loosened the drag a little bit. This is much further down than where I had the bait. Decided to just wanna leave that rod there and watch it. This bait I've placed way over there in the middle i think it's a little deeper right there it'll be kind of fun if i get a fish on that to have to run down there i'm not worried about losing the rod i did consider dropping my hook size down severely because i could do that but in the end i want to get something big this douchebag is gonna run right over my line Finally, fish number two, I had to wait forever. It is after nine now. Thank goodness for barge bites, people. Thank goodness for barge bites. Oh, he's putting up a good fight right here too. I don't think this is a very big fish, but it, it is a fish. It is number two. This is not a one fish video. Much smaller than the first fish too. We're gonna flip him right up in here. Yeah, you're right. This spot comes with its own unhooking mat. It's like a piece of black foam here. Sometimes the secret is just don't give up. <laughs> but you know, eventually you gotta go home, right? Yeah, you're right. Oh, we have fish number three here. I'm like really low here, like at 20% on the battery, about to switch it. And this is going on.
Yeah. Oh. Fish number three has a little more on his shoulders. Hopefully the battery lasts. He's not feeling too big now. He might be swimming in with me. Here's a little bit of a fight right here. A little bit of a fight. A little bit of a fight right here, up by the wall. Yeah, he's not big, but he's putting up his best right now. He's a little bigger than the last one, but not much. Whoops. Oh, got that down in there, don't we? Look at this, fish number three. <laughs> Looking up a little bit, eh? It is now 10.35. We are calling it at 3. Yeah, you're right. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you next time, guys.